I am Pinstar, and this is Two Point Campus Strategy and Tactics. Today, we're going to cover a little room known as the Private Tuition Room. This room is where your students, who might be a little bit behind the curve, can get some one-on-one -on -one attention with a professor. The best way to build this thing? Well, this is a room with a very small required footprint. And again, its capacity is two, meaning the teacher and the student. So I like to keep it at its minimum size. But we can squeeze quite a bit of things into this room while still keeping it minimum size. Three by two, door goes in the middle on the wide side. For the desk, you want it over here in the corner. You want the side of the desk with multiple papers facing the door. That's where the student sits. As far as the chalkboard, which is the other required item, you want to flip that around and put it on the other side of the door facing away like that. A few other things that we can do to spice up this room. These wall chalkboards, 2% learning power and are a wall item, surprisingly can fit alongside quite a few things. Put one right here, put one right here. We can do one right here and we can actually get one behind the chalkboard, chalkboardception. As far as other wall items, we can grab ourselves a token hand sanitizer, because why not? As far as some additional things, bookcases, we put one over here, will fit like that, one on this side, like that. Now here's where you're gonna need to do some control shifting, but you can still fit it with some control shifting. We can fit exactly one poster in this room. I like the food groups poster. It seems to have a little bit more oomph to it, as it were. The reason why I care about the posters here, and I'm actually going to spell out the where and the how, is one, the walls are mostly taken up, so we can't just poster spam like we normally would. And two, because this is a place of learning and prestige has an impact on that, we want to get our prestige as high as possible. That's the main reason why I'm actually focusing on these. We should be able to to get another poster back here behind the desk. I'm just gonna go for some motivational posters here. We might only be able to fit one, but that's okay because we got rugs. We definitely have rugs. So we can go for a little bit of rug spam, get our prestige up. There we go. We got our four things. There's not much more you can get out of it. The other thing is the center item. That depends on your climate. If you're in a temperate zone, you can put a trash can here to help keep litter off the floor. Otherwise, put a radio radiator or an air conditioning unit here in the middle. You may need to control shift to place it, but that's the best way to do it. And that way the room can be comfortable regardless of the temperature. So that is the double stacked private training room. These little things are, uh, they, they pack a bit of a punch. I'll have to be honest with you all. I'm not actually that big of a fan of private tuition as a whole. Private tuition is best used with your professors that if you come up with your schedule and there's like, you know, you need to hire three new professors and the calendar comes out to that third professor only needing to teach one class the entire year. That's a good candidate for private tuition, because this way at least keeps them useful throughout the year. It also is a useful extra warm body to help teach classes while you're training your mainline professors if you haven't trained them up ahead of time. So those are the main reasons why you'd want private tuition. I'd rather focus on the systemic learning of all of the students so we don't have stragglers that need some extra bolstering. But I can understand the allure of this room. So here it is in its greatest form, small foot print, packs a punch, and keeps your teachers busy during what would otherwise be downtime for them. I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, it's been Finstar signing out. See ya!